بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ربنا زدنا علما اللهم إنا أسألك الإخلاص والقبول وأن تنفعنا اللهم بما نقول اللهم أمين وبعد Sister in Islam welcome back to my channel Welcome to Tajweed 101 course In just a simple guide for you to learn Tajweed simply and step by step this course, inshallah, will be on YouTube and on my website, inshallah. My name is Maghfira and I am an online Quran teacher. And you are watching Maghfira Education, the place to learn and know how to read the Quran properly and understand it. Through this course, we are going to create three videos a day, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So please try to wait us in these times, inshallah, for the next lesson. Inshallah, within this course, inshallah, we are going to learn many topics. The first thing we need to know is the introduction about the Dweed and important things that put us on track. And then we are going to understand what is the mistakes that may happen on the recitation and do we have to get rid of that or not. We are going to know all of these stuff inshallah and then we are going to know seeking refuge and saying basmala at the beginning of recitation and their cases then you are going to know the articulation points and then we are going to inshallah to know the characteristics of the letters some rules that we need it the stopping rule how to stop when we are reading and when we, when we are reciting and the last thing and the last issue that we are going to know is hamzatul wasl and hamzat al qata Inshallah, this will be a detailed course. Inshallah, each lesson, maximum about 10 minutes. I will try, really, not to make the lessons or each video more than this. Um, so please, if you find that anyone can make use of this course, don't forget to share it so we can start uh, with each other. And in this course, Inshallah, I will need from you to make three things. Number one, to take notes. Any field that you are tr start learning it is like a bird and to type it down is like as you are ha hunting it. So please, we need to type the information, the new information that we have so that this will be your source and permanent source, inshallah. Then we have to practice. Never, ever um, let the lesson go without practicing. We have to practice more and more and more. And this is the key of learning Tajweed rule. This is the key to enhance your level is to practice. So we need to practice a lot. The more you apply, the more you, you get benefit from this course. And the last thing I need from you is to ask me whatever you want and whenever you need. As in the last video, I show you how to contact me. You can contact me here on the comments on this video or you can send me an email and you can send me an, a message on LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, all this stuff, inshallah. I'm ready to um, accept your questions, inshallah. So, let's start with the introduction. We have a very important in introduction that we need to know about this field before we start or before we go through this course. And this information will put you on track when you find yourself has no power to do the lessons, this will return you back to the, um, to the proper line, inshallah. And to start this, let's know what is Tajweed. Tajweed is one of the Islamic law sciences that are related to the glorious Qur'an. And you know that how Qur'an value is in our heart. So imagine that this science is related to this great book from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talked to us through this book. So we are going to know how to read this book properly to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speak to us because you know that Al-Quran is the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to us. And once you open the Mus'haf and look to any ayah of it, deal with it as it is a message from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the, the magical thing that even no matter how many times you open the Mus'haf, each day you will find a new message sent to you. So we have to link with this book really from our hearts and the, the first thing that help us to be like that is by learning to read properly and opening Al Mus'haf and reading it daily in a daily basis. Once we wake up we have a routine so we need to put Al Mus'haf and we need to put Al Quran in our routine because that really will help us in our in our life. So the Tajweed focuses on Al Quran 
the book revealed from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And try to imagine that we are dealing with something that revealed from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Al-Quran, it is a speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it is, tra it, it is transmitted to us by something called At-Tawatur. What is At-Tawatur? At-Tawatur, it is a word. Its definition is that something mutawatir, it's like a chain. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught Al-Quran to Jibreel alayhi salam. Then Jibreel alayhi salam descended to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught Al-Quran to the companions. Then the companions taught Al-Quran to the next generations and the next generations take the same line okay, by the same way of they learn. Al-Quran transmitted to us by two different ways. Written and spoken. Not only the, the, the words of Al-Quran is it's transmitted to us. No, really the way of reading and the way of reciting the words is transmitted to us. And that is the reasons that the Quran is transmitted to us by At-Tawatur. Each level from this chain sends its knowledge to the next ring by spoken or by the words of Al-Quran and the way of reading it. So that we need to learn Al-Quran and it's so important to do that. At-Tajweed, the word Tajweed in, Ar in Arabic comes from the rule letter Ja wa da. And, the, and this is betterment and proficiency. And the applied definition of Tajweed is reading each letter, articulating each letter from its articulation point and giving the letter its time. Okay, and the last thing, giving the letter its dues and rights of characteristics. What is the dues of the letters and what is the rights of the letters? The rights of the letters really, it is something that stick to the letter. For example, letter sod is a heavy one. Letter lam is a light one. Something stick to the letter and cannot leave it. This is the rights of the letter. The dues of the letters, these are characteristics that come because of the sequence of the letter. So for example, from when we have a noon and after that ta, okay, the noon here characteristics may change because of the sequence of the letter F else. And this exact noon may change when the letter change. Okay, so this is the dues of the letters. These are the characteristics that may change according to the letter, the letter's sequence or the letter's order on the same recitation. So the application of Tajweed is to apply the letter, read the letter, by applying it, its proper articulation point, its time, and give the letter its rights and dues of a characteristics. By this, we are reading a letters by proper Tajweed. So, knowing the Tajweed rules is Fardu Kifaya. What does that mean? Knowing the Tajweed rules means that I know the theoretical uh, rules of each, um, of each letter. For example, the rules of Nun Sakina and Tanween, the rules of Mad, the rules of, uh, the rules of Mean, the rules of Ikh. All of these, knowing these theoretical meaning, Knowing this theoretical information is fardu kifaya. And fardu kifaya, it means that when a group of people who are enough for the Muslim community must know it. So if we have a Muslim community and one only one know the tajweed rules, all the Muslim community can pass and there's nothing on, on them. Okay. And if no one, if no one know that tajweed rules all the muslim community will take the sin because of not um taking it seriously you know because we are not learning the tajweed rules so all the muslim communities carry the sin if only one or if a group of people enough for the muslim community know the tajweed rules it's okay to the rest of the muslim community this is the definition of fardu kifaya uh, Tajweed application, shall we apply the Tajweed rules? It is fardu 
ayn. What does that mean? Fardu ayn mean it is required by, by Muslim. Every single one required by all Muslims, men and women who have the complete Quran or part of it memorized, even if only one surah. And all of us memorize the Quran, Surah Al Fatiha, Surah Al Ikhlas, uh, Surah Al Fatiha, because we are praying with it five times a day at least. And we need to memorize some single surahs or some s small surahs so that we use it in our prayers. So we are all have to apply tajweed properly, and this is fardu ayn. I think let's stop here today, and inshallah, the next video we are going to continue. And as you know that, inshallah, wa'akum allahu khayran for your watching. See you inshallah on the next video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.